Okay. So we're speeding? Everything good? All right. Um, I think a good place to start is how you approached uh, Detroit as a visual space and mm -hmm. kind of the process of representing something like a city. Mm -hmm. Because the film st strikes me as maybe having the least amount of dialogue of all of the films you've worked on. That is true. I mean, it's um, the sound design and the music were an especially important layer for this film because one of the many things about Detroit that's unusual for a city is that it's extremely quiet. Um, you know, as you know, there's not a lot of people there. There's not a lot of police. There's not a lot of ambulances. And they have a lot of services that aren't available. And, um, you know, the wildlife has kind of started to take back over the city. So one of the results of that is that it is quiet. So that was actually something that we wanted to enhance. Um, and we thought about when we were filming because it's, it's just, it's so unusual um, for a metropolis to be like that. Um, so sound was a big part of it, but also visually it is, um, it's extremely unique. I think that's why people have been photographing it like crazy lately. There's all these other films about it. People seem to be obsessed with it. And that is because um, it is incredibly unusual um, and distinct. So we, um, you know, you can't help but film in a certain way, actually. I mean, it's, it, it, it begs to be sort of studied and examined. And on top of it, it ended up being kind of like a love letter. So we filmed it through that lens as well. Um, so yeah, I mean, it was a, a huge departure for us as filmmakers, visually, um, soundscape, um, structurally, everything about it, but you know, visually really stands out as, as a total departure for us. And you kind of obviously want to avoid the fetishization of decay that kind of uh, defines those photography mm -hmm. f photo essays you're, you're mentioning. And I think that that is clearest kind of at the end when you have this space that would otherwise be shot empty, but you have someone singing in right. it. So I'm, I'm wondering how you kind of avoided that obstacle. Right. Well, I could see well, how it would be very tempting to fetishize it because yeah. it's startling and you can't keep your eyes off yeah. of it. But we did want to maintain some respect, um, and we thought that one way of, you know, mitigating this temptation to just, you know, to be spectators, is to, um, to put the city in context to its citizens. So, for instance, when we're going to explore an empty building, which you know you would want to creep around and check it out, we do it with Crystal Star, who is a resident there and does it you know, every day and is uh, extremely curious sort of a uh, modern archeologist. Um, and w when we went into the train station, which is this iconic uh, empty structure now, um, skeleton of this incredible, you know, arche archeological sort of masterpiece, um, we filmed Noah Stewart, who's this incredible tenor, wanted to go and sing and check out the acoustics. So again, we, we wanted it to sort of feel like there was life there. Um, so these were things we kept in mind that, you know, we didn't want to just, you know, kind of fall into the trap of, of capturing what is being called noon porn um, and to, you know, to make sure that the city was, was um, given some dignity.